Good afternoon, everybody. Yesterday, as Representative Davis closed our celebration of Black History Month, today, the first day of March, I am starting our month-long celebration of Women's History Month. This year's national theme is Women Who Tell Our Stories, and I look forward to hearing members introduce many remarkable women. Women who have set the stage for us across all fields, not just in politics. I think all of us here, especially my female colleagues, have stories of amazing women who have influenced them. Women who have led the way for each of us to tell our own stories. Today, I'm reintroducing Lottie Holman O'Neill, who I mentioned in my inauguration speech and who I honor with a picture hanging in my office. A native of Pike County, she earned a business degree, moved to Chicago, and settled in Downers Grove in 1908, where she and her husband raised two sons. While politics in Illinois through the early 20th century were male-dominated, women gained the right to vote in Illinois in 1913, seven years before the 19th Amendment guaranteed our right to vote was passed across the nation. Lottie joined the ranks of women who were driven to public service and was inspired to enter politics by U.S. Representative Jeanette Rankin from Montana, who in 1916 became the first woman to be elected in the U.S. House of Representatives. Shortly thereafter, Lottie was the first woman elected to the Illinois General Assembly in 1922, serving 40 years in the Assembly, which until Barbara, Barbara Flynn Curry, was the longest serving female in the United States. More than 1,000 women attended her swearing in, and, and in the following years, many followed in her footsteps, joining in the political arena. In 1930, she ran unsuccessfully for the Illinois Senate, but after returning to the House, she made history again in 1959 and uh, became the first Illinois female senator. She was an advocate for disabled children, parks, education, and civil rights. She fought against abusive taxes, growing state budgets, and public corruption, a lot of which we are still fighting here today. She was a leader and was never afraid to call out fellow members for hypocrisy, selfishness, or selling out on their principles. She pushed boundaries and made lasting change for women across Illinois and our nation. Upon her retirement in 1963, at the age of 84, Lottie O'Neill declined an, an invitation to have a statue of her placed in the rotunda. She told her friends that she did not want a, st a statue to face the scoundrel who defeated her in the 1930 Senate primary for all eternity across the rotunda. However, 10 years after her passing in 1976, her friends decided to honor her achievement anyway, placing her statute in the rotunda. However, in accordance to her wish, she does not face her old rival, the scoundrel. He is to her right with Mayor Daley between them. Thank you, Lottie Holman O'Neill, for inspiring women and leading the way. Your impact is remembered and celebrated today. Thank you, leader.